Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this video we will be working an example that uses Bernoulli's equation and conservation of mass. The forms for conservation of mass and Bernoulli's equation are shown here. We will also be calculating the pressure in a specified depth of fluid. Let's look at the problem. Water flows steadily from the pipe as shown below. Neglect any viscous effects and determine the maximum flow rate, Q, if the water is to not overflow the standpipe. Note that the pipe is discharging with a free jet to atmosphere. The standpipe is also open to atmosphere. The dimensions are noted in the drawing. Let's set up the solution. First let's select points, 1 and 2 to apply Bernoulli's equation and conservation of mass. Point 1 is directly beneath the standpipe. Point 2 is the free jet. Let's also select the datum to be the center of the pipes. Let's start with conservation of mass. The fluid is in compressible water so we can cancel the densities and solve for the velocity V1 in terms of V2 and the diameters at 1 and 2. Next let's apply Bernoulli's equation from point 1 to point 2. The elevations at both points 1 and 2 are equal so those terms cancel. The pressure at 2 is atmospheric or 0 psig. The pressure at 1 is due to the static column of water above the datum. This may not be obvious. With no viscous effects and a straight run of pipe the streamlines will be straight. The only pressure gradient in the vertical direction is due to the height of the water column. The equation for P1 is given here. Now we do some algebra and solve for V2. The results is shown here. Now is a good time to check units. V2 will have units of the square root of feet per second squared times feet, which is feet per second. This is valid. The values for D1, D2, and H are given here. Notice that we are using English engineering units. English, who needs that? I'm never going to England. Plugging in those values we get that V2 is equal to 21.3 feet per second. However, the unknown is the volumetric flow rate Q. We know that Q is equal to velocity times flow area. Plugging in the values we get that Q is equal to 0.376 cubic feet per second. What does this mean? When the volumetric flow rate is 0.376 cubic feet per second the pressure at point 1 will support a water column of 6.125 feet. I hope you found this example useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.